I want to start with Fields, though, because I'm trying to figure out for all the conversation we've had, the hell Justin Fields going to end up next year? Yeah, this is I was I was talking to Jory about this last night where I had an agent who clearly saw this coming late last week. And he's telling me, like, you should do this story. <laughs> it was like their fields. There's no starting. There's not going to be any starting spots for him. They're going to be stuck with him and they're going to have to start looking at backup spots. And I didn't believe it. <laughs> and then by the end of the weekend, I was like, crap, <laughs> he was completely right. And that's because Kirk took a major um player off the field for him which is Atlanta and then Russ went to you know Pittsburgh and you know I know that there were people in that organization that really liked Justin Fields coming out and I have to believe that if they had missed out on Russ there's potential that they could have traded for for Justin Fields and you know now the Bears are sitting there and they're staring at this and they're going okay well here's one of these ripples with Kirk took out the Falcons and uh, you know put Justin Fields into a position now when the Bears look out there, they're going, A, we're probably going to get less draft compensation than we might have initially thought because there's just not a number of bidders. B, I think, you know, as this agent said to me, he's like, you know, you got to start looking at, if you're an agent and you're trying to help facilitate a trade, I'm starting to look at backup positions in the NFL. Like, where are backup slots? And I'm not necessarily just looking for the worst starting quarterback and go, hey, let me get him in behind the worst starting quarterback so he can beat this guy out. He's like, no. You really want it to be a good situation, a good team. Uh, he fits the scheme. Uh, he could possibly help them even in the backup position. Like maybe they can design some packages here and there for him. I think the Eagles fit that right now. I think the Philadelphia Eagles now fit. They have a backup quarterback need. I know Howie Roseman wants to address it. I don't think he wants to go into 2024 with Tanner McKee being the backup to Hertz. Um, and I think he likes value. And there is some value there in Hertz. Whether it's a player you plan to keep throughout 2024, it's a player who maybe you think you could generate some draft interest in him. There's a lot of different um, avenues. 